I flew from Manchester in the UK to Amsterdam to Atlanta, had a 20 hour layover, then flew to Belize City and then took a tiny, teeny little 12 seater plane and finally I have arrived in paradise. Welcome to Key Kolka. is this incredible mix of Caribbean and Latin culture. So think great food, good music, lively nightlife, beautiful, lovely locals, palm trees, good vibes, beach, and it all comes together and it's plonked right in the middle of the second largest barrier reef in the world. The island is only five kilometers in circumference, so it's quite small but I'm going to show you all the best places to go and what to do and as usual I will be completely price transparent so you know how much trip to Key Coca might cost you. So as you can see it's not the best of mornings here in Key Kolka, but apparently it is going to warm up this afternoon and that's completely okay because it means I can get some work done this morning and also show you where I'm staying. So I am at La Isla Resort and I've got myself a double room. It's costing me 121 Belizean dollars a night. The resort is right on the waterfront on the main stretch has a lovely pool. Every night at 6 p.m. they light a fire, which is really nice to sit around and meet other travelers. And then what I particularly like is this little spot here so I can work there and look out to the ocean. The sun has finally decided to peep through the clouds. So I'm off to my favorite cafe called Ice and Beans for some donuts. Um, it's just a short walk away from my accommodation. Actually, everything is pretty much a short walk away from anywhere here on the island. The best way to get around, I think, is by walking because there's no vehicles allowed on the island except for golf buggies. So you can hire a golf buggy for your stay or there are golf buggy taxis around. It costs $5 per person per trip. Or another good option is to hire a bike the island is so small and really flat, so I think the best option for me personally is just walking. The main stretch of the island is on the east side. So this is where you'll find most of the accommodation, restaurants, shops and tour operators. On the west side, it's mostly residential. Then on the south side is a lot of mangroves and you might even see a crocodile or two. And then if you go up to the north side, you get to here. You will come to a place called The Split. In 1961, Hurricane Hattie flew through here and created a natural channel, essentially splitting Key Kolka into two. And that didn't end up being such a bad thing because now it makes for a really nice swimming spot.
Sunday afternoon, head over to Iguana Reef Inn for the 5.30pm stingray feeding. And if you're lucky, you may also spot a seahorse at their sanctuary. In my opinion, this is the best place on the island to watch the sunset. The food in Kikolka is delicious. It's really fresh and it's all about seafood. There's plenty of restaurants on the island. Their menus are all quite similar though. Anyway, for breakfast this morning, I've come to a place called Barefoot Calibre for fry jacks. Now, what are fry jacks? Well, I had never even heard of them before coming to Belize and now I'm obsessed with them. They are tortillas that have been deep fried and they're super crunchy on the outside and beautiful soft in the middle and the best way to have them is with black beans mm, delicious so breakfast cost me 18 Belizean dollars which I'm actually kind of surprised about that's fairly expensive for this island yesterday I went to a place called Cubano and I had the same breakfast for only seven dollars and it was just as good. dinner and I am only interested in lobster. Grilled lobster is what it's all about in Key Colta. It's fresh, it's affordable and it's super tasty, especially if you come to Chef Juan. La, 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 la. Everyone I come and we should have fun. La, 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 la. Everyone I come and we must have fun. Every day we say that things is hard. Make sure you try Chef Kwan's chocolate cake. It's the best on the island. If you've seen my Gili Trawangan vlog, you know that I am not a very confident scuba diver. So today I'm sending along my GoPro with Mark who is actually diving the famous blue hole of Belize. So fingers crossed that he's going to get us some awesome footage that I can share with you.
And that's it for this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed watching it as much as I loved making it. I am off to Guatemala next, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out. Coconut oats, coconut cart, coconut cake. Hi, everybody! <laughs>